Now, while 2020 may have seemed like a blur, one photographer is putting this year into perspective. In a visual tribute, Peter Turnley has been capturing the raw moments of the pandemic. From lockdown in New York to reopening in Paris, he spent months working to put a face to the heroes and victims of this crisis while sharing their stories of triumphs and tragedies. And award-winning photojournalist Peter Turnley. He joins us now. He is the author of a New York Paris visual diary, The Human Face of COVID-19. Peter, thanks so much for being here. And I have to admit, I have found this painful and yet surprisingly very beautiful and evocative in a way. What were your hopes in being able to do this? When I began photographing the, the lives and streets of New York, um, starting on March 21st, I actually, I'm a nomad. I, I'm almost never in the same place more than three weeks. I travel constantly. Um, and I found myself, when Governor Cuomo um, declared the lockdown in a sort of box of a small apartment, I split time between Paris and New York, and I have a small place in New York. and. I found myself in a small box of an apartment, and um, I woke up on the morning of March 21st, and and the most natural thing in the world for me was to go out and with my camera and and take a look. And when I did, I I walked about 45 blocks south to Times Square, and I was literally turned upside down by what I saw. I had covered many, if not most, of the major world news stories in the world over the last sort of 40 years. Um, but here I, I was witnessing uh, New York City in a way that I had never seen it before. I was just really kind of existing with my camera. And, and I took my time and I would always ask people the same question. I would say, what is your name? Um, what is your age? And tell me, how are you making it? And what I realized immediately was that every single person had a story and every single pe person wanted to tell their story. And they all ended by asking me, and how are you making it? And, and that was really important because I wasn't really making it very well. So after that, that first excursion, I, I came home, I laid on my bed, I, I had a good cry. I, I sobbed for about two or three minutes. And, um, and then I, I gathered myself and I posted an album of the photographs and a very sincere sort of diary on social media. And overnight, this just exploded. Worldwide, there was a response from people and I realized that all over the world, people ha had a need to, to identify with each other. And that one of the other ironies was that while I had covered most of the wars in the world over the past sort of 30 or 40 years, that this was the first time I realized when I was witnessing a world war where the front line was, in, with, a, was with an invisible enemy um, and that every single person on the planet was going to be affected. I want to talk to you about that, the scenes that really seem otherworldly, the, the black and white, uh, you know, canvas that you've painted as well. It, it really speaks to, I guess, an experience that so many of us still can't believe. I mean, are you like me? There are days I just wake up and say to myself, this can't possibly be happening. Uh, from the very first day when I went outside, um, the world was not like we had ever seen it before. Everyone was wearing a mask. Every single yard, there was a, a, every yard, every every few meters that I walked, um, there were visual cues that, that were different than anything that I or we had ever seen before. And it affected every single person. There was no one that was spared. Um, the other thing that I think uh, really struck me was in this time of wearing face coverings of masks, mm -hmm. uh, I have always noticed the eyes uh, in, in, for me, I, I I'm, I'm very interested in the emotion of life, and I find most often, if not always, um, the really strong emotion of almost all scenes takes place in the eyes of people. And, and during these last nine months, um, never before have the eyes been so important as, a, as an expression of our feelings, um, of our connections with the world, with others. Um, and in many ways, it's it's been extremely powerful. As you say, it is through your lens and through that expressiveness of the eyes that we're all able to collectively look uh, at such a poignant tribute that you have done to this pandemic so far. Um, Peter Turnley, thank you again for joining us. And if you'd like uh, to see more about Peter Turnley's uh, work or buy his book, you can head to peterturnley.com.